Hi everybody, it's Diana and welcome back to my channel. We finally made it to Greece. We left from Miami to New York and then New York to Athens. Um, Check-in in Miami was a breeze, super quick. New York um, Kennedy was kind of empty but it was also fast. I got my little window seat and the kids communicated with each other through this app on the airplane. Uh, I'm taking off from Kennedy and the sun is setting and this is the first time that I have been on an airplane um, and seeing the sunset and something quite beautiful. Uh, I used to be, well, no, I'm still pretty much afraid of flying so I really am glad that I kind of beat my fear enough to get on an airplane and travel because I just need to travel. Our flight was um, very easy. I would say very little turbulence. I slept probably 80% of the flight. I love the overnight flights because I don't have to think about it, move or anything. There were a few kids crying along the way, but nothing serious. Overall, it was a great um, flight. Once we um, were approaching Greece, Part of Athens, I guess. <coughs> Whatever part of Greece that is, um, where the new airport is. Um, today, when we get to the to Greece, we're really not going to do a lot. We're just going to relax, eat some good food, and and just relax mostly. Mostly, we are also going to um, go on a cruise on Sunday. Is our cruise? And I will be bringing you lots of videos and pictures from our travels. Um, so here we're getting ready to land. And it was a pretty easy landing. I love the window seats because I really like knowing where we are, where we are at. Um, the, the, the customs and the people was the airport. busy, but it went fast, I have to say. But there were a lot of people. Our flight was completely full. This is our driver, Adi. We went back to our favorite restaurant. That was the first meal in Piraeus. Here we are at the, I forgot the name of the restaurant, but I'll get it for you. And we order fish amongst a lot of other stuff. And this is how they serve it. They bring it to the table like this. They cut it up for you right there. And they do a work of art. They clean it out so meticulously that you really can't even find any bones. Um, it was like a, I want to learn how to cut the fish like that. Look at that, they take every bone. I want to take the spine out, and they're going to take, it, well, they take every, they look for the bones, and look how they take it. It's so interesting. Anyhow, I don't want to bore you with how they cut the fish, but I thought it would be something cool for you guys to see because you don't see it every day. Here we are, my kids and myself. Dinner at night. It must have been like 10 o'clock at night in the evening. It was a beautiful moon, full moon, and get stay tuned for the end of the video because you can see something very special. These are my kids and myself. The first one, my sister and her sons. My sister, myself, and my aunt, and my beautiful sister, with that beautiful boon in the background. After 24 hours of traveling, my children, or our children, one or two, with the little flashlight on their phones, come down these rocks and take pictures. It was for sure past midnight. And my aunt was like not even tired. I asked her, Tia, are you tired? She says, no senorita. Wow. She was a trooper all through the troop. Now this is what we saw. We saw a blood moon. Actually my sister 
was looking at the horizon when she saw a, a orange um, globe, and she goes, oh my God, what is that? And then little by little it came up, and it was a blood moon. And look how beautiful it is. Well, I'm going to leave you with the blood moon on some music. And thank you. Hope you liked it. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and I'm going to bring my entire trip to you guys. It was a nice trip. Thank you.